Hi everyone, I'm Christine. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through what I spend in a week. For some context, I'm currently 28 years old and live with my husband and dog in the Silicon Valley. Both my husband and I had our first jobs out of college in the tech industry, but I left the corporate world a few years ago and now work full-time as a content creator and also run my organic cookie business, Christine's Cookie Co. I consider ourselves to be in a fairly blessed and comfortable position financially, but we do our best to maintain a healthy balance of taking care of ourselves, supporting the businesses we believe in, and saving on the side. Hoping you all find this video interesting and insightful if you're curious how I spend my money with minimalism and sustainability in mind, and a thank you to Aspiration for also sponsoring today's video. Stay tuned as I'll be sharing more about how they're the perfect way to make your finance journey more sustainable. So let's start with the first day of the week, Sunday. This particular Sunday, I had to work retail for our cookie business, and we are currently located in the zero waste shop that I used to work at. I take this opportunity to stock up on the essentials and refill whatever products I may need as well. This week, I'm just restocking on some lotion that I've been needing for my dry skin, a laundry stain stick, some beeswax, and face serum. The total comes out to 1024 today since I'm only buying a little, but I know that sometimes when I stock up on more items when I'm not here as often, my total can run to around 40 to $60 a trip. After a long weekend of running the cookie business, Peter and I didn't have the energy to cook dinner so the safe bet for any meal for us is Chipotle. So we ordered some to take home and eat. I always feel satisfied after eating Chipotle and it's hard to say no to a sofritas burrito or bowl with a side of lime chips. So the total for our takeout dinner that day was $21.09. This Monday just happened to be Valentine's Day, and while our original plan was to have a nice dinner out together the day before, things got canceled as we were quite tired from a busy cookie weekend, as we were the ones baking a lot of treats for Valentine's Day. So instead, we did a few small things of our own. I decided to visit my favorite local florist in downtown to get a small bouquet for Peter. He's been so busy and stuck at the computer because of work, so I knew some fresh flowers would brighten his day. Peter also surprised me and also my bakers that day with some huge croissants from a bakery in San Francisco, so I was able to also munch on that sweet Valentine's Day treat as well. I'm not quite sure how much the croissants were, but I'm assuming around six to seven dollars since they are from San Francisco and it's also quite sizable. The bouquet came out to $14, which also included a small tip for the busy workers since it was Valentine's Day. But this was a pretty sweet and simple Valentine's Day, if you ask me. Before I continue into Tuesday's expenses, I wanted to share a bit more about today's sponsor, Aspiration. There's a good chance your bank could be using your money to fund fossil fuel projects, political lobbying, and more. Money doesn't just sit in a bank and banks are allowed to use 100% of their customers' deposit as collateral for lending and investing. It was my goal last year to take steps to be more responsible with my investments and know the impacts of my spending, which is why I joined Aspiration, a digital banking alternative and certified B Corporation. 
With Aspiration, your deposits are FDIC insured through a network of bank partners who have agreed to not lend your money for fossil fuel projects or to other harmful industries. There's no overdraft, maintenance, or other predatory fees, and they also have an opt-in planter change program that allows their customers to plant a tree on every purchase by rounding their purchase up to the nearest dollar. In addition, their Aspiration Plus account offers up to 10% cash back on socially conscious spending and features carbon offsets for all your gas purchases. If you're interested in putting your money where your values are, consider joining Aspiration today. Be sure to go to joinaspiration.com slash Christine or click the link at the top of the description box to get $50 when you sign up. So going back into Tuesday, our fridge was pretty empty. So it was time to visit the grocery store to stock up on some food for the week. We do a combination of visits to Whole Foods, Sprouts, and H Mart with orders from Zero Grocery and our local farm box to get through a week of food. But I'm at Whole Foods today to get a few pantry and fridge staples for the next few days. The total for this grocery haul was $43.90. I was able to get an assortment of canned soups for easy meals, greens that will pair well with any meal as well, tofu, bread for a morning banana toast, our favorite dark chocolate as a treat, some apples, and more. We try our best to buy sale items and seasonal produce to make sure our spending doesn't go overboard, especially as Whole Foods can be pretty expensive. And I also like to keep our grocery runs small so I can better manage meal prepping and food waste throughout the week. At the end of the day though, we trekked up to my sister's place to help watch my nephew for the evening. It was a bit busy getting over to his daycare for pickup so all we had time for that day was a quick dinner again from the Whole Foods hot bar. I picked up two boxes for myself and Peter, which came out to about $10 a piece. And as it was my brother-in-law's birthday the next day, I also selected an assortment of little pastries at the Whole Foods bakery as a gift. So in total, it came out to about $40 for the pastry gifts and our dinner for that evening. On Wednesday, it was about time to do laundry. I ran two loads, one for our cookie business with all the baker's aprons, as well as one for our regular clothing. Each load at our apartment complex cost $2.25, so the total came out to $4.50. The weather is warming up, which means that there's no need to use the dryer, so we're drying our clothes for free by hang drying throughout the home. It's my favorite way to help lighten my footprint on the planet and also extend the lifespan of my clothing. Plus, who doesn't love the smell of fresh laundry in the home? Otherwise, I had to run another errand on Wednesday and give a ride to someone. So I stopped by Sprouts, which was close by, to stock up on a few items from the bulk section. So I just got a few staples for the pantry. White and brown rice, lentils, oats, chia seeds, and some pretzels for snacking. The total came out to $18.96 and the pretzels were already gone by the end of the day. I should have gotten some more. By the time Thursday rolled around, I made my largest purchase of the week, a booking for an Airbnb that I'll be visiting. I needed some extended time to reset, reflect, and spend time in solitude and silence. Luckily, I was able to use a $200 Airbnb credit that we had 
So my total came out to $261.72 with all the fees. Thursdays are also the day for our weekly farm box pickup. We don't live too far from the pickup location, so Cooper and I have been taking a nice morning walk on Thursdays to go pick it up. Each week, we spend about $30 on organic produce from our local farm, and it's the best. If you're based in the South Bay, I'd highly recommend checking out Spade and Plow. They're run by the sweetest family and the produce is such a treat since everything is so flavorful and colorful each week. This particular week, we received some chard, leeks, a butternut squash, mandarins, kiwis, radishes, carrots, and broccolini. I'm looking forward to eating the flavors of the season. My last errand of the day was stopping by the local wood shop. My friends were gracious enough to help me start making this custom wood bench that I've had in mind for years, as it stores Cooper's crate and other items. So I stopped by the wood shop to see if there's any wood available to finish it off, but due to supply chain issues, I'll be holding off on this purchase for now. This bench was definitely a big purchase for us and I haven't purchased much furniture for the past year. So I don't mind that it's taking some time as it gives me some more time to continue to save up for it. And I know the wait will be worth it. Fridays are bake days. So unless we're too tired to cook, we usually try to eat whatever we have at home from the groceries stocked up in the fridge. However, I did get a one-off request from a customer to bake a black sesame Oreo cake based on our black sesame Oreo cookie. Since I had some extra time, I stopped by Whole Foods again to get some extra ingredients for testing, just some yogurt and baking soda, which came out to $5.77. As a quick FYI, the cake was also delicious. So that's all I spent throughout the week. I didn't film anything on Saturday since we ended up keeping it low at home and just continue to cook food that we had in our fridge. Keep in mind that this video also didn't show other recurring expenses that often happen, such as doctor's appointments, gas for our cars, rent, utilities, etc. Nevertheless, I hope you found it somewhat interesting. A thank you again to Aspiration for sponsoring today's video, and a thank you to all of you who managed to make it to the end. If you have any suggestions or requests for future content, such as zero waste grocery shopping hauls, my favorite purchases this past year, or anything else related to finances or minimalism even, do let me know in the comments. I hope you all have a simple and sustainable day ahead and do take care.